Sex in the city. Man, uh, this this could have hey, used more sex in less city. You know what I mean? Up, yeah. Try some old bullshit in the city. Oh, come on, man. No, it's not that bad. It come is on. that bad. Even with the disconnect that, let's face it, this was not made for men who don't like, other than men who like sleeping with other men. Uh, <laughs> it's still not that bad of a movie. That, well, actually, no, I take that back. It is a bad movie. It's not bad five episodes of the television show Sex in the City. But the problem yeah. is, is I had to sit there and watch five episodes of Sex and the City, and it did not entertain me. It was two and a half goddamn hours. Mm-hmm. Who wants two and a half goddamn hours of Sarah Jessica Parker narrating her boring ass, crazy, immature life to me? I can oh, answer. I can answer that. Uh, anybody with a vagina, yeah, which was ninety nine percent of the audience there, who Ooh. clearly loved every second of it. Well, that's the thing, man. Sarah Jessica Parker. She really loves the sound of her own voice. Yes, she I mean, does. people talk about Spider-Man talking too much to himself. This bitch will not shut the fuck up. Yeah. So she's she's like the female Spider-Man she's in New fe- York yeah. City, swinging <laughs> swinging through, having sex with everybody well, she can. That's Maybe Kim she's New Cattrall. Yorkers. That's Kim Cattrall's character. Yeah, they're, they're, no, they're, they're both from New York. Sh- shut up. No. Sh- no, no, no. Seriously, <laughs> don't try to explain to me the various characters of Sex in the Fucking City because I don't fucking care. Okay. No, <laughs> I, I I tell you, uh, you're right. Not just Sarah Jessica Parker, but Every one of these chicks in this movie, do not let anybody get as much as a hangnail because they will go on for two weeks about it and not shut up. They will forget that there's a world out there suffering through cyclones yeah. and hurricanes and God. starvation. They'll be like, ow, my finger hurts today. God Please. help you if you're the dude who points out to them, hey, that looks like a nasty fingernail you got because they will not talk to you for like six months because be- of it. Because <laughs> these are the most self-centered bitches in the world. Yes. I mean, and I'm going to say that only because I have to have some faith that all women aren't like this, even though every woman seem, in the world seemed to be in that theater cheering them on. You know, what yeah. really bugged me, though, was you guys were going to get our asses jumped. I was I was freaking out there. I'm sitting there crumpled up in my seat in a little ball because there's a moment in the movie where the girls are on screen talking and she goes, maybe it's really all my fault. Do you think that maybe he's not having sex with me because of this? And Corey's just like, yeah, that's why I ain't having sex with you. But every woman in the audience looks at us and I'm just like, I don't fucking know these guys. <laughs> You know, I, I was the same reaction. Like, I was scared we were going to get jumped on and torn apart by Lee Press on nails. But the, the, you know what? He's right. And that was he just was right. Bobby. Yeah, I know. Right? <laughs> He's absolutely right. This That was the problem. Is The main two plots of this film are about the two of the characters getting really upset at their men and just shutting them out of their life. Uh, for as long as it's convenient for the film, which is an interminable period of time. <laughs> Two and, and a half hours. And it's bullshit. You're like, what is that? Why, why? Are they really that crazy? Look, I can see if you're a woman and you like this show. I can see if you're, I can see if you're anyone and you like this show. It does have some decent dialogue writing. It's funny a lot of the time. Sure. It's mm-hmm. well filmed. I agree. Uh, I've enjoyed the show at points. But if you at any point think that these girls are right in the way they're acting, then you are a crazy bitch. You know what? People who accuse you in the past, you say, oh, that dude, he th- oh, said I was crazy. What an asshole. He was right. You yeah. are crazy. Yeah. And all these women do is spend money, so much money all the time. I ain't saying they're gold diggers, but they wouldn't mess with no broke <laughs> niggas. Now, you know, no, yeah. no, 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 Wait, hold on. No, you're right. The title of this show should have been Life Ain't Nothing But Bitches and Money. No, <laughs> now, no, no, hold, hold on. You know what? For us to get on the consumerism trip is a little off base because I've seen your Batman shrine, okay? I We spend money like that, too, just not on $400 shoes. It's just on a $400 remote control Batmobile. However, I bought that $400 Batmobile for myself. I didn't have my you know girlfriend buy it for me and act like I was entitled to have that happen. I yeah. mean, they, they, the thing is, they, they got other men buying this shit for them. And yeah. that's still and, and never good enough. Never good enough. Nothing is good enough. And let me tell you girls. something. You can, like, make a, uh, a remote control Batmobile roll down the street. You can, you can play with it. When a bitch got a $300 throw pillow, not even a, billow, uh, not even a right. pillow that you sleep on, but a throw pillow, and you complain about it because your best friend's dog is fucking it, that's your fault. You, you don't need a $300 throw well, pillow. Now you, you, just brought, you, just, you just raised the big problem I have with this fucking movie. You know what I hate about this fucking movie? Everything. It's an Adam Sandler movie 
with chicks. That's true. They, These they, jokes, they're, somebody shits themselves. There's dogs fucking pillows. There is a pubic hair joke that is one of the nastiest fucking things I've seen on film, and I don't know how fucking long. Yeah, I wanted to throw up. Yeah. Um, I, I know Corey was over there going, I don't know. I saw some old chick's pubic hair. That was hot. Um, no, actually, I said, God damn. I was, I was the main one who was vocal about that. I was like, there's a fucking afro between this girl's I legs. I saw, I've seen this... deadhead girls naked before and that who hadn't showered for weeks, and that was nothing compared to this. This yeah. whole movie is filled with these. It's a dick and fart joke movie for women. And I disliked it in the same vein that I disliked the other dick and fart joke movies that just have nothing clever to say. This movie has nothing. It is just raunch for the sake of being raunch, but tries to dress it up with New York chic. Wow. Ooh, uh, that's awesome. I don't even have a problem with that. Just to me, it's very obvious that the movie's kind of all over the place, trying to touch so many bases, trying to wrap up so many storylines that it ultimately says nothing if anything it's a real setback from the the tv show which i you know i watched for a couple of seasons and liked but this made me hate all these characters well yeah, yeah that's me it's because i watched the show too <laughs> it's funny you got three guys here now who are admitting that they watched the show all right. and there was uh, uh uh what's her name uh uh, uh miranda miranda, M- miranda i i kind of disliked on the show i didn't really care for it but i was like I can only I I'll, I'll sit down with it for about thirty minutes, sure. maybe an hour with commercials. Sure. If I got to spend two and a half hours with that bitch, I hate her. Yeah. Well, every conflict in the movie is based around something she did or said. <laughs> yeah. Wait, yeah. Well, let let me let me back up here a moment. You guys all watch Sex in the City. That that thing is all like okay. Look, okay. I I, I was waiting for Deadwood to come. Good. Look, I'm I'm gonna go make tea, and you guys can hug this shit out. Okay. Let let me just say this. This is a testament to a guy because if you've ever been somewhat intimate with the girl, you are exposed to Sex in the City. You can't get around it. But you know the whole thing. Okay, so that explains why I haven't seen it. But that doesn't make it right (laughs) for you guys that have have watched this and know the fucking character. I bought every box set of this three times for a woman that I unsuccessfully did not get to sleep with. I'm just that's all I'm saying. That I've committed part of the <laughs> error of of this happening in the first. Yeah, you place, try to right? you, you try to educate yourself thinking it's going to make you like open up to them and understand the language of the woman. It don't do that. No, I didn't watch it to educate myself. I bought it as a gift to them, thinking they'd have sex with me. But no, still not. You well, got you thing. got more city than sex. Yeah, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's the thing. Like, if you're in a relationship right now, now would be a good time to either break it off or even go gay because you will get forced to see this movie. And, and, and I feel sorry for you. Oh, yeah. For, for me, coming out of this, I just felt like, man, okay, I need to go get a shot of whiskey, eat a steak, and have sex with a Mexican whore. <laughs> now, granted, it's Tuesday, and that's what I usually do anyway. But <laughs> <laughs> this wouldn't be much worse than watching the TV show if, in fact, you were sitting at home watching episodes of the TV show where you could watch like an hour of it and then go, okay, well, we'll watch some more in a couple days. It wouldn't be any worse than the sh- uh, or different than the show, really. But that's exactly the problem. Why, why is this a movie at all? I have no idea. In fact, the raunchiness that you talk about only seems to be there for them to say, look, this is something HBO would have frowned on. Yeah. <laughs> right, right, because if it was on an ABC show, you could say, like, okay, they made a movie so they could be explicit. But they were on HBO, an open forum where they could do anything. Yeah. It's almost yeah. like they said, well, HBO's standards were too high, and they wouldn't let us get away they with wouldn't these wouldn't let us do bathroom jokes. jokes. No, you, you're right. That, that's the main problem of, the, of this movie is that – well, at least for those who are unexposed to the show, because I think if you like the show, then you're going to like the movie regardless. But on HBO, it's on HBO. You saw all the titties, all the ass, all the fucking, you saw all of that. Even more so. Yeah, even more, yeah. So, well, yeah, why, but that, so, was, but wait, that so, was back before these women were made out of leather. Well, why, well <laughs> the thing is, why, so why take it to the big screen when it has nothing more to really offer except to really show you how shallow the, these women are? No, no, that, no. that these, excuse that me, that these, these, that, that, these, that, these that, that, that these women folk be, no, that these women are. Uh, you know, to judge it just as a as a TV show and the characters, I actually liked uh, Kim Cattrall's character. Um, uh, it's not Miranda. What's her name? Samantha. So, yeah. Samantha. I actually liked her in this, Yay. and I liked the conclusion they came to wrap up her arc. It made sense for her character to do that, and I liked that. You know, it's I'm not gonna. If you've seen the show, you'll know why it makes sense. And to be honest, the character I always dislike the most on the show, Charlotte, because she is just a giant, whirling, dervish bag of neuroses. Like that crazy chick that all your friends say, uh uh-uh. uh. She may look good, but do not yeah. go there. She's, she's the, the only I was about to sane say. one in the entire movie. She's and, the only one who makes any sense. And she's the hottest one out of all of them. Yeah, she has me. But yeah, yeah, far and away. Yeah, and, uh, it's funny because you always hear about when some black movie comes out, someone gets shot or killed over the weekend. 
I'm waiting for this weekend to be over with where some women attack some dude and cut his dick off. Yeah. No, because, no, because no. Because that moment, it, but, it, it, but not by, not by the be... end of the movie. Oh, hold on, hold on. Not, 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 shut up, man. Jesus. Not by the end of the movie. is like you, they don't, they don't mail bash as much as you think they do. So that's kind of cool with me that they didn't do that. But in the middle of the movie, where they're making every man fucking evil. Which is three quarters of the film, ex- mind ex- you. Exactly. <laughs> women are like, hovering and looking at that one penis in the theater that they're next to waiting for that dude to make a wrong move mm. somebody gonna die this weekend no I'm i was sorry. holding my breath so i didn't accidentally touch the woman next to me just, I'm, <laughs> I'm telling you i'm telling you you're wrong man it's it's some some guy's gonna get his eyes scratched out by some other guy who's there to see the movie <laughs> to be honest this is a movie mostly for gay men i mean there'll be tons of women there because it'll give them something to do but this is this is all about it's written by and for gay men and, you know, God bless them. Let, let them have it and enjoy it. Sure. But just leave me the, the fuck out of it. Well, it's all filled with references that I didn't understand. I honestly feel like a girl at a comic book movie. I was just like, okay, nope. I have no idea who these fashion designers are, and I'm not sure why I should care. This is exactly what it's like when we take our girlfriends to Star Trek movies. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. It's, it's, but you don't understand. Worf has this long-running relationship with, with, with Deanna Troy, and, and you don't – you just don't get it. Well, it's see, beautiful. that – that is why I'm going to come out and say not be as hard on this movie as everybody else is because, look, I, the show, I, I will tell you, I don't think it's that bad. I've seen some episodes, yeah, it's not really for men, but whatever. So being experienced with the show a little bit, I'm looking at this movie and I'm thinking, okay, yeah, not, it's just like the Simpsons movie. It's really not, it doesn't need to go to the big screen. This could have been a DVD release if they really want to push it that far. But I think for people, and I'm, and really mostly women, who follow these characters that close, love these characters that much, this is like one final thing for them to wrap all this shit up. And I think those are going to be the people that love this. And by God, you can have it. Go ahead. It's for you. Yeah. That's, that's cool. They're going to love it no matter what. And, you know, I, I don't blame them for it. I mean, when I'm still the one guy I know who's seen the X-Files movie like eight times. I know it's not a good movie, but I don't give a shit. I love the fucking X-Files. And I was glad to see another chapter in their story, whether it should have gone to the cinema or not. Yeah. So, you know? I, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm really I'm not offended by this movie. I don't think it's terrible. And all that shit in there with like all this stuff in there that's juvenile, like the poop joke and the, and the puppy just showed me that the puppy that I like to have sex with everything. It just showed me that they weren't taking it that serious. And they were able to put that in a movie where they normally wouldn't put it in a movie that was aimed towards females. And you're thinking, all right, they put a lot of naked chicks in there. They put a lot of fart jokes and juvenile humor in there for those guys that absolutely had to get dragged to this and I understand why they did it. So if I actually had to go out and give this movie a rating hey, for a woman, and I, I don't like to do this. I know it seems sexist for a woman. It's not that great of a movie. So I give it matinee for a guy. I would say rental. Well, that's because a woman's brain is much smaller. Uh, see, <laughs> uh, we don't know him. First is man, the part of then Leon, young, then squirrel, then woman. The part of Leon tonight has been played by co-host. <laughs> 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 no, it's it. It, it's just a rental for, for anybody who's not already a gigantic fan of the series. I like the series, just like you. I respect it for what it was doing. But this is just a series. It's nothing special about the movie. There's no reason not to wait for, for to just rent it and watch it. Hell yeah. Some old bullshit. I, I'm sorry, guys. You guys actually admitted to watching the show. Your, your brains have been tainted with estrogen. This movie was crap. It was two and a half hours. It was unbearable. I saw the looks on your faces. I can't believe you guys are being so easy on it. You guys were tortured just as much as I do. You're just saying, well, you know what? We're dudes and we're not supposed to like it. Yeah, you know what? I'm a dude. I fucking hated it. I never want to see another movie of this fucking movie again. I want it to go away in a box where I never have to fucking think about it. Well, Carlisle, I, I would almost agree with you. You make compelling points. I, I almost want to change my, my rating, As, especially in lieu of the fact that we never brought this up. Um we get Jennifer Hudson in as the magical Negro. Do we have to throw this cliche in also? Like she only exists to help Sarah Jessica Parker get her life together. Oh yeah. In fact, she didn't exist. She was a figment of Sarah, Sarah yeah. Jessica Parker's imagination. Yeah. I mean, she, was times... the, she was the fight club character. Yeah. 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 I, right. I thought it was very nice that she took that black girl in, gave her a job, gave her a, gave her a designer bag and then sent her back on her way to St. Louis. Admittedly, she it was the Louis Vuitton tacky as hell collection, but you, still. Okay. Okay. <laughs> what, what the fuck? Okay. I just 
that's like when as yeah. women in general, what is with these Louis Vuitton handbags that look like something a child scribbled in crayon and somebody else slapped that leather together? Man, oh, these yeah. are the ugliest things in the world. But that's you know modern fashion in general. When they have the fashion show in there and you're yes, looking, man, the fashion why show. are you applauding instead wearing... of not just laughing? Yeah, if, were, <laughs> if, if they wore that shit on Star Trek, you would laugh. Yeah, you would go. Oh, that's going too far. No, it, 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 all the fashion in this movie. Look like either somebody melted crayons and made a purse out of it, or it looked like they skinned a Muppet and made shoes out of that shit. Yeah. See, I don't understand this the shit. The first wedding dress, it looked like she was smuggling a family of poodles out. <laughs> what was that? Yeah. But seriously. You know, that, that just, it, it's a metaphor for, for the show. I think at, you know, this show at its time, I think it was just fine, but much like the clothing they wore on this show, when you look back at it, it ain't pretty. Yeah. It, it's just funny because Jennifer Hudson, you're right. She is so magical, mystical, Negroish. At the end, they should have just put her in slave clothes and just had to say, "Well, Miss Parker, not done for the day. Hey, I'll see you." She's Will Smith with tits. That's what I'm she's, saying. She should have <laughs> faded into the background and joined Will Smith, like like Anakin Skywalker and, and Yoda at the end of the... all these magical Negroes standing looking <laughs> yeah. over the white yeah. race. She, she should have been done there good yeah. this time. Honestly, da, 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 we need the female da, 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 magical da, da, da. Negro anyway because like a uh, uh, Queen Latifah turned out to be a lesbian and well we can't have that as our white <laughs> white audience accepted magic you know black woman and and Wh Whoopi goldberg well she just stopped being funny or relevant it's in just, any sense when i see so. these things it makes me scared because i wonder if like if Corey and i are here just to be you guys as magical negroes like we're gonna help you become better reviewers and then fade away well, you yeah. guys actually run things we're kind of the magical negroes in this situation <laughs> oh, <sorry. laughs> it's, just, it's just funny because jennifer hudson Everybody in this movie is buying all kind of glamorous shit. Jennifer Hudson has a purse, a purse on layaway. <laughs> yeah. I think I was just expecting to say, hey, look, Miss Parker, I smuggled this out the store. <laughs> well, well, you got to I mean, to be fair, they do live in a part of New York that has no black people because we know how New York ha has no black people. And, you know, they actually the thing is, is that if there's one thing I can say to this to the credit of this movie, there were when you look on the street, there were plenty of people of all races. They were constantly surrounded by it. And there's one moment where one of the girls from the show goes oh wait it's a white person with a baby follow that white person yeah, yeah. <laughs> this movie was kind of racist you gotta admit there's like I little, do. there's those little places all throughout the movie where i'm like uh-huh i'm taking note of this it's like it, every every person of color is background it's this like, is new york hey, city do you never is it possible to go anywhere in new york city outside of maybe two blocks where you won't see at least half the people there be people of color no no it's not possible Except in this movie. Yeah, except yeah. in this movie. The magical, wonderful, wonderful, invisible, not possible land of sex in the city. But it's, despite every reason I have to give this some old bullshit like <laughs> Mr. Carlisle, who almost has me convinced, I'm still going to say rental. Because once again, it's, it's another case of a TV show made into a movie when I think there's just no need for that. If I watched it for free, don't try to charge me money for it. Yeah, exactly. And, that's, a, that's a good point. Uh, let me give you an earring for your right ear, my man. Well, the, here's the, the other thing is that, you know, it's, man, they, 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 they're there in New York and they're talking about all these men that treat them wrong, but nobody wants to be with them because none of these chicks can go anywhere by themselves. If you date one, you, you date, date all them of them all. Yeah. and they're going to be there fucking chattering, complaining, bitching about shit all day. Which is why Mr. Big is the dream man, because he does this totally unrealistic thing, you know, all through the movie. Don't worry, I invited all your friends again who can't stand me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Because, yeah, I'd be like, look, I want to be with you, not the witches from Macbeth. Yeah. you got to dump these chicks. You talk the about witches from Macbeth, but there were some scenes where they lit... Uh, Sarah Jessica Parker, and I swear to God, all she needed was the hat. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> she's, got, she's, got the little, she's got the little wart, and she's got the nose, and it's, I'll get you, my product. You know what's funny? <laughs> like, she got voted like, by Maxim Magazine like the unsexiest woman in the world, which we, I thought was like really hard. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah especially since Roseanne Barr's still alive. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. But the thing, looking at Sarah Jessica Parker, like, I know this is going to be like an odd thing to say, but I think the best thing about her is her face. Like, her body weirds me out. Really? Because yeah. her body is, is what makes it for me. It's her face. She, she, she's very skinny and kind of skeletorish. Yeah, and with the, Her with arms the, are the, really weird. She's, like, clearly been working out, but the flesh is still, like, hanging off of the yeah. muscles. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, she looked weird in this, though. She didn't no, in the past. I no, 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 no. No, she looked hot. And uh, Honeymoon in Vegas is, like, when she looked the, the, yeah, the, the hottest. I know, I know. I know. And then L.A. Story. <laughs> but then right after that, she was on SNL. I was like, oh, I can't wait to see her. And she looked weird then. And she's looked weird ever since then. Her face, I can get over the big nose. And she's got pretty eyes. 
but the Dude, rest of them. It's like, the whole deal with the devil thing. Man. I just think it it's funny. Up. They can be sitting in Spain, sitting on the fucking toilet, and they will all pop up in the same place. Oh yeah, it's it's amazing how they cannot go anywhere, anywhere by themselves. And then they make that squee noise when they're all. Yeah, that's right. If your ears are sensitive to that. Ee! Oh God. Then over you're and in over big again. trouble. Yeah, yeah, because this shit's in Dolby. <laughs> yeah, a wedding dress. Ee! Thank God. Our shoes. Ee! Thank God we didn't cake. see this at the digital theater. But you know something? You you made a good point Who by did? saying that. Cyrus? No, Cyrus. Yeah, Cyrus. You made a good point by saying that. Uh, and I heard you out in the lobby. You said that there are moments where the dialogue is pretty well written. I have to say, I did chuckle at a few lines where they, they were just corny. You know, when they weren't going with the gross out, there was some good, decent dialogue there. There were parts that were funny. There were parts that were clever. I liked some of the things they did with some of the characters. We're, it's not awful. It's just, it's so ruined by the things that they did do wrong. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, we're sitting over here on the other side of the room giving each other the stink eye. Like, like, uh, wait, wait, what were those moments? Yeah, because apparently hey. that was, there, there was, the movie may have been three hours, I guess, because the two and a half hours I saw was all <laughs> shit. No, the biggest fault of the thing was that it just went on too long, really. Yeah. If they had gotten it out in an hour and a half, oh, I yeah. think this could have been a real fun movie. Yeah, but, no, and th this is a movie that should have been an hour and a half. And for any guy that has to go see it, an hour and a half, right at the moment where you like saying, I hate these bitches. They would have turned it around and you would have been like, oh, okay, they got it all wrapped up. I'm not such a bad guy. My wife's going to go home and have sex with me. The world is fine. But you got to sit there for another hour, yeah, an honestly, extra hour. The moment the woman in the movie get pissed off at their men, say, baby, I got to go to the bathroom and just go out and wander around in the mall or wherever that movie theater is for a while for about 45 minutes. Come back and said, I had to take a giant dump. <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah. no, and she no. won't even notice you were gone. No, yeah, what you do is you come back, you, you do whatever you want, you know, go to the strip club, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> but come back with flowers. And she show up at yeah. the end of the movie, oh, baby, you know, I'm sorry I, I walked out of the movie, but, you know, this movie made me think so much about you. Here's some flowers. I had to go and find these. Yeah. Well, that's great because usually at a strip club, there is a woman walking around selling flowers. There exactly. Now, there's a man who knows how to fucking think. Just make sure you get the smell of the strip club off of you before you go back. Yeah, don't come in with glitter on you. <laughs> yeah. Probably. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Ah, uh, glitter. Glitter <laughs> and body spray. You still got the matchbook that you stole there that says, you know, club ass a lot or something. So, you know, club ass. ass a lot. <laughs> you know, whatever. <laughs> so I don't think I'll be hitting club ass. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't think I could think of a black. No, that's 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 the that's that's the black all nude club that you go to. You know? It sounds like Ice it's a drive through. Out. <laughs> yeah. They come out to your car and give you a lap dance. Thing. Exactly. No, no. That's, I'm talking about that's the down and dirty cheap strip club. Welcome to Sir Asselot. Yeah. It's, uh, it's, and no, I, I did. Take your order. You know what? You never did give you a review, though. I mean, yes, oh, no, did. you did. I'm sorry. Yes, you did. You give your rating. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it was yeah, some old my, bullshit. No, my rating was rental. <laughs> as much as you're making a case for some old <laughs> bullshit, I almost want to go there. I, I, I have to give it props. That I thought in the last hour, because it's almost three goddamn hours long, in the last hour, they started to finally pull it together, and I was liking that more. But, but you see, a guy's going there. He's sitting there thinking, I'm going to put up with this shit. I'm going to go with my wife. Or my girlfriend or some girl I just met, I'm hoping to get lucky with. I'm going to be patient because when I get home, she's going to be giving it up. And it's that extra hour that's going to give her time to think and get pissed off. And she's not going to only one not going to want to go home and have sex with you, but she's probably going to want to cut your nuts off, well, too. Dude, it's Here. like the Lord of the Rings for crazy bitches. <laughs> <laughs> you heard that earlier. Yeah. Hey, here's the problem. You take a girl there, especially if it's the first date, you think, hey, if I can sit through this, I'm going to get laid. But the challenge for you is going to be to sit through it without fidgeting, without going, <sighs> or without just making fun of it and just blowing the whole deal. And at some point, you'll be like, man, the pussy's not worth it. I'm not sitting through this shit. <laughs> Carlisle's making me laugh, though, because it's like, oh, God, I hope it's not the Lord of the Rings for crazy bitches, because then there's going to be the extended four-and-a-half-hour director's cut. Oh, yeah, that was 17 <laughs> endings. It's like she gets married 17 times after yeah. that. That's how fucking painful it is. No, when you, when you have your girlfriend who sat there and watched Lord of the Rings with you, and she kept saying... They just keep walking through the movie. They just walking and walking. You can come back and say, "Yeah, bitches, is Lord of the Rings." Women, these bitches are just talking and talking and talking they through just the keep whole movie. Shopping and shopping, shopping and shopping. And, yeah. 
That's it. That's all we got. Yeah, I guess that's, that's it. the have review. We, have we exhausted it yet? I don't know. I just, I, you know, the, the only thing that always occurs to me about this is they made a Sex and the City for Men. It's called Entourage, and I've seen women try to watch it and go, these guys are offensive. I don't see why you would like these guys. Every last one of them is a total self-serving jackass that doesn't care about anything but himself. And we're like, yeah, but it's a fun show. Here's and a- to be honest, it's it's the same thing. We the girl, Most of the girls I know know these women aren't really role models, but they play on, you know, jokes that women share with each other. I'll just, Big uh, difference. Entourage, not in the big theater. And there's not going to be groups of men saying like, hey, guys, let's all get together and go watch Entourage yeah. together. And you know what? Entourage doesn't have naked 45-year-old women. No, it's <laughs> naked 25-year-old women. <laughs> It's kind of, it's, you know, a spoonful of sugar makes the medicine go down in the most delightful of ways. This, you know, I didn't know bags could hang that low. Oh, I dude. thought that was oh. a leather purse for a while. Oh, you know what? I ain't going to even say now. that. I'm going to say all these women in here, they, they, they did nothing else. They keep themselves up all right. So Yeah, you can tell by the neck something wrong. But yeah, from the, that, yeah, from the yeah. head up. Yeah, There's only you know, so much you can do, really. Yeah. Even yeah. with modern technology. And, and for all I know, George Lucas could have got a hold of this shit. I could have been CG. Yeah. <laughs> and just that, just, that shit could have said Lucas. Film at the end, but you know, you call me. I'm just gonna close out with this. It's like, oh wow, so that's where he put the sarlacc. <laughs> put the what? Sarlacc pit. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, no, I, at the uh, I will say this. I, even though I said I, I'm giving this movie a rental, I will say I was the one that championed the man and put my life on the line by standing up when when that one chick said. It's my fault for my husband cheating on me. Leon and I did stand up and say, "Yeah, yeah, it is." So we were ready to take the bullet for anybody. That's true. And it was. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Damn, I guess we're done. I yeah, guess we I have guess exhausted this shit. Like, we just out of breath now. <laughs> and another thing. <laughs> One more thing. Well, I don't want to seem misogynistic or anything. Oh, yeah. Women have smaller brains. I don't think you can go any deeper <laughs> yeah. than that. <laughs> Yeah, no, that's why Corey is all about talking at this it's point. He's like, I'm fact. not the one this time. What was that? It's a scientific fact. Has no one else watched Borat except me? <laughs> uh, in this case, no. Many scientists I... <laughs> have discovered this. Didn't know that was on the Discovery Channel. I would like to make the disclaimer right now that he just playing. <laughs> no. <laughs>